Hey y'all, welcome back to 901 Street Kings. Gonna be talking today about the, the R1 again. Can have an exciting topic, something that's came up quite a few times. Uh, topic of discussion is the exhaust valve, or uh, better known as the X sub valve. So we're gonna get into the X sub valve today, so stay tuned. Okay, so today it might not be that an exciting topic for some people, but for me, <clears throat> it is uh, performance-wise, it is it can be a very big deal. Shouldn't shouldn't be in the end, but there's a lot of discussion about the X up valve. Uh, so what I have here, I'm going to show you the bike. I want to show you how the XF valve is stock on this Yamaha and I'm going to explain to you why there is absolutely zero performance advantage no gains in low end torque there's no reason to have this valve on here from a performance point of view period okay alright guys <clears throat> hopefully you can see in there Probably not. Let's see if I can get some light over here. But anyway, that's a pretty good shot right there. You got your header tubes coming out on this bike. They are titanium. Pretty nice pieces. No real need to change them. Excuse that camera angle. Comes down. Goes into the exhaust exit. Now stock. The exhaust pipe came up through this bracket here, um, shooting out the back. Obviously that one's different. <clears throat> so what you have over here is the catalytic converter. Comes in four into two, and two into one into the catalytic converter. <clears throat> Goes through that big old box. And the whole motor feeds out of this tiny, tiny little pipe. And what you're seeing here is the valve, which I'm going to cut these wires off for you in a minute. But these wires, folks, or I'm sorry, this valve. Okay, so this valve, I have it wired open because I originally I just removed the exit valve. The two cables left the motor on the bike, which I'll show you in a minute as well. I wired this open so that I would get the maximum exhaust flow, and I'm going to show you why. I don't think you can see down in there right now. Definitely not. I'm going to get some light over here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Well, before I cut that, like I said, let me get some light and I'll show you. All right. Let me get this set up here.
Okay, you see that tiny little hole? Oh, it's real hard to see. That is your entire exhaust flow when that valve is closed. I don't know if I can get a good... There you go, so there's a the butterfly. And like I said, I have it wired open. So there's two holes. And the little one is what flows when it is closed. All right. See how that slams shut? That valve is normally closed. So that little tiny hole is all you get. <clears throat> and you can see this on your bike. You take the heat shield off. When you rev it, the ECM sends a signal to the exit valve motor and it opens that valve. And you can see it has a lot of travel. And I'm not sure about the Yamaha, but I think in another video, you will see that some of these also tend to close back at full throttle somewhat to limit the sound. So, yeah, that being what it is, if you didn't have any of that BS in there, you would have this whole diameter of pipe. You can see, I just noticed that myself. That's where it's, your exhaust is flowing at idle and about 2,000 RPMs. This is this little tiny hole. <clears throat> Anywhere that's a cruise or an idle in town, that valve's going to be closed or partially closed, and that's all the exhaust flow you get. But if that wasn't there, you wouldn't have this the cross section of this throttle body, any of that stuff in the way closing the restriction. So that's one reason to get rid of it. I'm going to go back over here to the bike and show you some more stuff. Okay, focus it. Sorry to have the seat unlocked. If you look right in there, you see that bracket, it's got a gear on it. That gear has two little clips on it, exactly like these, for like a throttle cable or whatever. And those two cables are connected to that motor, and it spins and op operates the valve. That is the exit valve for a Yamaha. Very basic, very simple, and purely for sound and possibly some emissions and benefits I can see that recirculating around the cat or limiting the amount of exhaust and idle over time so that it would pass an emissions test. Performance wise, zero. Alright, so real quick, to do that, taking up too much time. This is really nothing to this. This right here, I'm just going to show you. The Kaufman's exhaust, shout out to Kaufman's. Um, this thing sounds amazing. Yeah, I boarded the D-Cat or the X-Pipe. It gets rid of your catalytic converters and gives you the full piping all the way back. And you can see they got plenty of gussets on it. It's power coated. And so far it's been a real good exhaust. I love the way it sounds and the bike runs great. But again, uh, there was a comment on another video where people were commenting that some company like Graves one of these companies like Graves was selling some kind of tuning capability for the exo valve and I know if you look at an old R1 along here in the side. They used to have a sticker on that says XF valve. Hey, that's just marketing. 
that's something they had to put on the bike to get their emissions and they're trying to market to you saying that it's going to improve low end torque and it doesn't. Okay, put this uh, seat back on here. So that's it for the exit valve. Hopefully that should clear up any debates about how it works, where it goes. Well, that's the good thing about a Yamaha is you can leave it disconnected like it is. The ECM still thinks it's there and it's still doing whatever it, it does. But none of the mechanical components are there, so not an issue. Uh, when somebody comes out with a, the ability to tune a 20, then I will flash it and I will pull that out and drop that extra weight and create a little space in there as well. But that's it for this video. I just wanted to show everybody what that valve looked like and how much restriction it actually is in the exhaust. And there's no possible way that's a benefit. Any obstruction is going to be a restriction. It's going to slow down velocity and you're going to lose power, period. All right. Feel free to comment below, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the channel. Come on back and see us for the next video. Not on Street Kings. Stay salty, my friends.